Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, out from the shadows comes Valera! Sanguinar, I think. The Shadow of the Uncrowned. The latest in our now very long line of World of Warcraft characters, accompanied by the Lunar Festival and a bunch of other awesome skins. It has been a little while, I've been uploading streams lately, but that's not what you guys are here for. You're here for the how to play as. So, we're getting into it. Valyria is a tricky assassin who gains access to different abilities while stealthed, builds combo points, and eviscerates her opponents. She is the, the epi uh, not epiphany, the uh, embodiment of the... Well, of the rogue from World of Warcraft, and she should be treated as such. To that end, she has a stealth ability just like the her um I'm trying to find an armored horse for her. I don't know why. There we go. Now, where was I? Um Yes. She's a rogue. She doesn't have permanent stealth, which I think makes it that much more fun to play as her. But she does have a great damage output by being able to build up these things called convo points. And if you're familiar with at all with the World of Warcraft terminology, that essentially means that the more you build up your combo points, the more damage you end up doing. And I got the player in the PTR before her official release, so I actually know what I'm doing this time, and I'm not that blind, but I don't know if anything changed, so... Oh yeah, it's, and since the, uh, whatchamacallit is out right now, the Lunar Festival, there's this thing going on where you have to, like, get this golden rooster over places. Yeah, much easier when you got people helping you out, but I may as well just show it off anyway. The battle begins in oh, can I do it? Nope, seconds. I need one more. You'll get the golden rooster if you manage to complete the challenge, I guess. So what do we have? We have Vigor. Regen glows, increase max energy. Valera also does not have any form of mana. She also runs on energy. Just like her World of Warcraft counterpart. She has Subtlety, where stealth abili abilities grant energy regeneration. Combat Readiness, where spending combo points grants block, and Crippling Poison, where spell damage slows enemies. I think I'm gonna go with Vigor this time. Ooh, there's the other dude, one of my favorites, Zul'jin. But this is her stealth ability, and once you stealth, you get access to another set of abilities that are more focused on stealthy actions and stabbery, backstabbery. So, in my experience playing as her, you kind of, you want to, um, preferably pick your battles carefully. Especially in my case, where I almost butchered myself on Greymane. Where she's more than capable of fighting on her own, but it's more preferable that you, like, come in, strike fast, get out, or try to anyway. Yeah, <laughs> this might not be the best example. I'm not on my A game right now. But you can choose to go in, um, you can choose to go into combat without being in Vanish. That's a strategy. And then you can, uh, you can use Vanish even while you're in combat too, I believe. So you can totally go in, Distract, vanish, retreat, come back, kick all the booty. In this case, I'm just in a very bad spot, squaring off against Greymane and Zul'jin. Now, what do we have? At rank f at level 4, we have Relentless Strikes, which reduces Sinister Strike's energy cost. That's your 
unstealth Q ability, Hammerage, where Garrote increases basic attack damage by an additional 25% to any enemy afflicted, S initiative where stealth abilities award more combo points, and wound poison where spell damage reduces enemy healing received. And I'd rather not needlessly throw myself into death, so I'm going to go down here and help Kalthos instead. I think I'll go with Relentless Strikes. That sounds pretty good. Kale, don't you dare run away from me. You can have a maximum of three combo points, and if you're not in combat, or I think it's more like if you don't use them after a certain time frame, they disappear. And then you have to go back and try and get them all over again. So if you're a rogue, if you're primarily a rogue in World of Warcraft, you'll love Valyra. She plays just like a subtly rogue. Subtly? Maybe. Except she's capable of fighting in bright. Well, I guess subtly rogues can do the same thing, so. Don't mind the Jargon, I'm here to show you kind of try and preview the character. Alright, Zul'jin is by himself right now, so... Ah, let out. Next, we have Mutilate. Increases Sinister Strike damage, but reduces the range. I usually go for that one. Um, Fatal Finesse, where hit heroes with Blade Flurry. Increases damage by 3, up to 60. <laughs> Slice and Dice, where Eviscerate increases attack speed. That, that's pretty good. And Assassinate, where Ambush deals more damage to isolated heroes. Your enemy has destroyed a fall. Uh, I guess I'll go for increased attack speed with Slice and Dice. I don't think anyone's died yet. No, nope, no one's died yet. Oh, so the enemy Sylvanas died. Oh yeah, and while you're in Vanish, you cannot right-click anyone. So, if you're trying to be overly stealthy, you don't have to worry about accidentally swiping someone and revealing yourself. It's awesome. I don't think you can mount while in Vanish, so you do move faster, which is a good thing. You sleeping up on Leoric will be much easier. Oh, I gotta go. I'm going to die. Yeah, I didn't realize Sylvanas was coming up until too late. This mercenary camp will fall before me. That's what I get for being careless. You have to be the rogue. Feel. Oh. Ribs are still sore. You have to understand the time to strike and the time to retreat. Right, and the AI pay really close attention to, so... Uh, you can't, especially when you're playing against the AI, but this is still something good to practice anyway. Don't sit still for too long. It's a matter of staying alive and not. sight. Oh my, that had to hurt. Go ahead and steal this and be on my way. Excellent. Perfect execution. Heartstone break. 
Next we have Smoke Bomb. I almost said Smoke Stone. I don't know why. Smoke Bomb created a scary cloud of smoke. That's exactly what it says it does. You're unrevealable, can pass through other units, gain 25 armor, reducing damage taken by 25%, and you can continue attacking these abilities without being revealed. It's great for when you need to turn around and gain the edge over someone in combat and cloak of shadows. Valera is enveloped in a cloak of shadows which immediately removes all damage over time effects from her. For one second she'll become unstoppable and gain 75 spell armor reducing ability damage by 75% and it, this ability does not break vanish. I have tried cloak of shadows. That's debatable how good it is so I'm gonna go ahead and try smoke bomb this time. That sounds pretty cool. The Sinister Strike goes through. Um, I'm being pinged and I don't know who's texting me right now. Um, Sinister Strike goes through minions, so you can't actually. Um, I'm not going to be able to stop them. Not, not with three of them. Unacceptable. You shall know my what was I trying class. to say? Sinister Strike goes through minions, it stops when you hit a hero. So if you do need to escape through enemy minions, then that's the perfect thing for you to do. Just go all laggy. Bop bit a boop it. Ugh, feel bad for doing that one. But since it goes through um, anything that isn't a hero, it won't deal I don't think it deals any damage per se. I don't, yeah, I don't think it does any damage. Blade Flurry does, thankfully, so if you need to clear out a minion wave, then your work's kind of cut out for you. you have lost the key. I may have to play a second video, actually. This is not... Wow. I'm getting... My team's getting their butt handed to them. So the curse ends. Uh, what do we have? We have elusiveness for increases vanish movement speed. Always good for an assassin on the run. Um, death from above or ambush teleports Valir behind her victim. Always good. Cheap shot also blinds enemies. And strangle or garrot deal reduces ability damage dealt. I'm gonna go with death from above. That sounds pretty cool. I'm going to try and push my luck. Oh, come off it! You jerk bag. They're AI. They're guaranteed to find me very easily. I think the side of the text. Oh, okay. Anyway. I was never very good as a stealthy rogue anyway, so... I'll do my best to preview the character, but I don't think I'm really... I don't really feel qualified to say I should be a go-to for how to play as Valera, but then again my channel's always been one about... Here, just take a look at this and see what you guys think of it. Alright, for Smoke Bomb you have to get into the group you're trying to attack. Otherwise, it doesn't really work too well. We are not having a good round. I might have to splice in another video to finish this off. We'll see. We're gonna grab this and I'm gonna... then I'm gonna teleport back. We'll see how this works out. Well done. Your enemies shall be weakened. Let them fall for you. Let's see.
if I can catch up to old Zul'jin. Please don't tell your port away yet. Gotcha! <laughs> no! The other got away. Don't make it so easy. That's okay. Now we have Seal Favor and Power Sinister Strike. Was yours. Damage and combo oh, points. Core is under attack. A rupture where basic attacks refresh Garot's damage. That could be really devastating. Expose armor where eviscerate damage is target lowers target's armor. I'll get you, you varmint! That worked out, and Thistle Tea! Activate to instantly restore energy. Well, we may be able to turn this around. Let's go with... Seal Fate. Come here, you jerkweed! Pardon my French. Ah! Oh, lucky devil. Yep. I'm about to bite it. No, I'm not. In your face, Zul'jin. In your face! In your face! Ha 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 ha! Escape is mine. And the orange just met his end. Let's clear this minion wave, or try to. Dang you, Sylvanas. You can also use Blade... Well, I just demonstrated it, but you can use Blade Flurry while you're on the move. Which can be pretty good for when you're trying to avoid catapults. pull this off. We'll see. It's relatively evenly matched, thank goodness. That was rather violent. Okay. I feel like I should have had an increase in speed. Gather truth. Ooh, doggy, that hurts. We may be on the defensive, but I'm confident that if we can just keep the lower lane's attention off, attention off the lower lane, we'll still triumph. Thanks, friend. Anyone else think we could use some marks? Probably. Anyway. Um, I think I've said all I needed to say for right now. There isn't really much else that can be said about Valera. Help me, you fools. Level 20! Let's see here. We have Adrenaline Rush, where Smoke Bomb increases energy regeneration. That's good. Uh, enveloping Shadows, where Vanish grants Shadow, like, Cloak of Shadows. Ah, oh, they're gonna win. Drat! Whoa! 
Love's giving me an unfair disadvantage in some cases. Yep, I made it on the board anyway. That's fine with me, so... I'm gonna finish reading off what the heck was happening. Talents! Where was I? We had Adrenaline Rush. You gained additional energy while in the smoke bomb, enveloping shadows. Whenever you use Vanish, you also gain Cloak of Shadows. Night Slayer, which I ended up picking and it didn't really work out. It just reduces the, the cooldown of Vanish. And Cold Blood, where activate to increase the damage of Valyria's next eviscerate by 100%, which does not make Vanish. So, treat her as you would any kind of stealth character. Go in, kick stabity up the en the weakest link, or stun a t prominent target, like with the auric would have been a good stun. And do make sure you're not getting flanked, because as, like Z um, like Zeratul and Nova, wherever she is, right over here, what you're in the thick of it, it's really hard to stay alive if everyone, if at least two people decide to go, hey, I want to kick your butt. Yeah. Anyhow, that's Valera. I hope you all enjoyed just how to play as and got a good preview out of it. And I'll catch you guys when the next hero inevitably comes out. Who's gonna come out? Well, I hope someone from either from Diablo, to be honest. That'd be pretty cool. Catch you later.